Welcome to Using iOS Devices with the AAT. In this video, we will show you how to control your AAT using an iOS device. It's simple and efficient using tools that you are already familiar with, your iOS device and a web browser. Here's a quick preview. First, power on the AAT and wait for AZM to begin flashing. Then, connect to the AAT hotspot with your iOS device. Finally, open aat.sunsite.com in your browser, or just touch the AAT homepage icon. And that's all there is to it. Once you've connected, you can do things like print site reports, email those reports to your customers, and more. Using iOS devices to connect to the AAT's internal web server allows you to access the user interface, or UI, which in turn enables you to fully manage and or control the AAT. In the remainder of this video, we will cover a one-time setup for your iOS device that enables you to efficiently control your AAT. We will cover how to set up a home screen shortcut to make accessing the AAT quick and easy and we'll discuss Adobe's Acrobat Reader application for viewing PDF reports on your device. After a quick introduction on generating PDF reports, we'll show you how to get the PDF reports to your customers. This video assumes that the AAT is powered on and ready for clients to attach to its internal hotspot. View the video Connecting to the AAT with the Android phone to learn about the AAT startup process. Keep in mind that only one user can control the AAT through its onboard website at a time. Multiple users connected at the same time is not supported. You'll need an iOS device that is running version 7.1.2 or later in order to use it to control the AAT. In this demonstration, we will be using an iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.3 with the native Safari browser. You can use other iOS browsers, such as Google Chrome, if you prefer. Depending on the hardware and software version of your iOS device, along with the browser you are using, this process may look slightly different than what is shown in the video. The good news is that connecting to the AAT's wireless network is identical to connecting to any wireless hotspot. So if you are having trouble figuring out how to do this, refer to the documentation that came with your iOS device for additional assistance. Let's go ahead and watch the demonstration of using an iOS device to control the AAT. The first step is to connect to the AAT's wireless network or hotspot. To do this, on your iOS device, choose Settings and then select Wi-Fi. Ensure Wi-Fi is on and then look for the AAT wireless hotspot. The AAT hotspot has a network name beginning with AAT90 followed by a series of digits that represent the serial number of the unit. The serial number is printed on a decal affixed to the back of the tool. Touch the AAT hotspot in the list to initiate the connection. You can tell that you have successfully connected to the hotspot when the name appears with a checkmark next to it and the Wi-Fi icon is displayed in the top left status bar as shown in the video. Now that we are connected to the AAT hotspot, we are ready to access the AAT user interface. To do that, you need to launch Safari. So go ahead and find the Safari icon on your iOS device, normally located on the dock, and touch it to launch the browser. To start the user interface, open an empty browser tab and in the address field, enter the URL aat.sunsite.com and then press Go. The AAT user interface homepage will be displayed and you are now ready to set up, manage profiles, and print reports. Alternatively, you can enter the IP address of the AAT, which is usually 192.168.0.50. Enter it exactly as shown, with the periods separating the four groups of digits. Press the Go key and wait for the home page of the AAT user interface to display. To save time starting the AAT user interface in the future, you can create a shortcut on your home screen which you can then tap to go directly to the AAT homepage. To add a shortcut to the home screen, start Safari and launch the AAT user interface by typing aat.sunsite.com in the address bar. And then touch the sharing icon located at the bottom of the page on an iPhone or at the top next to the address bar on an iPad. 
choose Add to Home Screen and type in a name such as AAT. Press the Add button and the shortcut will be added to your home screen. From now on, after connecting to the AAT's Wi-Fi network, you can simply touch the shortcut icon on the home screen to start the AAT user interface, instead of launching the browser and typing in the URL or IP address. In addition to saving a shortcut on the home screen, you can create a bookmark by tapping the bookmark icon, also available on the sharing submenu. Enter the name you'd like to use and then touch Save. To access the bookmark later, simply tap the bookmark icon from inside the browser and then tap on the saved AAT bookmark. You can install the free Adobe Acrobat application from the App Store in order to view and manage AAT reports in PDF format on your iOS device. PDF format is a very convenient way to send reports generated by the AAT to your customers, usually via email. In addition, the Adobe Acrobat app provides a convenient way to save reports and email them later. Keep in mind that installing the Adobe Acrobat application is optional and is not needed to view or email PDF reports on your iOS device. To install Adobe Acrobat, start the App Store by touching the App Store icon on the home screen. Press the Search button in the bottom bar and then in the search area, Type Adobe Acrobat to locate the free download and then install the application on your device. Note, your device must be configured with an account in order to access the App Store. Refer to the documentation that came with your device for further information. Once you have completed your work using the AAT, you can generate site reports in Adobe PDF format to send to your customers. To generate the PDF site report, touch the Profiles Captures Reports tab on the AAT website and then touch the PDF button next to the site you want to report on, or select All PDF to report on all sites. The PDF report is generated and shown in the Browser tab, at which point you can review the report. Then when you're ready, press the Share icon and choose your preferred method for sharing with your customer. If you have an optional PDF viewer installed on your iOS device, such as the free Adobe Acrobat app, you can use the Open In feature of iOS to view your report and store it. Once you open a report in the Adobe Acrobat app, it is saved there and can be reviewed and shared at a later time. This provides a convenient way to access your reports without needing to reconnect to the AAT and regenerate them. In most cases, you'll want to email the generated PDF reports to your customers. In order to do this, an email account must be configured on your iOS device and you must be connected to the internet, either via a mobile data connection or via a wireless connection with internet connectivity. Refer to the iOS documentation if you need assistance with configuring an email account on your device or consult with your company's IT staff. Remember, the AAT's internal wireless hotspot does not have internet connectivity. While attached to the AAT, however, you can generate and share the PDFs via email. They just won't be sent until the device is connected to the internet. To email the report to a customer, touch the sharing icon and then touch the mail icon. Compose your email and press the send button to finish. You may wish to verify that the email with the report was sent successfully. This concludes the video on using iOS devices for operating and managing the AAT. We've seen how to connect to the AAT's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot and launch the AAT user interface, as well as how to create shortcuts for quickly navigating to the AAT's website. We also discussed using the Adobe Acrobat application for viewing and managing PDFs. Finally, we learned how to generate a site report and email it to a customer. If you need information on connecting to the AAT using Windows or Android devices, refer to the specific training videos available on the training page at sunsite.com. Thanks for watching.